is watching porn cheating? I don't think it is. Yeah. To me, it's like if you're watching porn, you could as well be watching Netflix. <laughs> well, the the outcome is different, and I think yeah. this is why people bring it up: is that if I'm watching porn, I'm also probably masturbating, and I'm masturbating, imagining other women in other situations, and I think that's where some people would say that's cheating. Or I, I don't think so, though. Like, your imagination can take you wherever it wants to take you. This is where it would be a big deal, where it's like partners are watching the porn and then being like, I want you to do that, you know, and like bringing that into a relationship, then I would have an issue with it, you know. But I don't have an issue if my partner is coming off by imagining another woman when I'm not even there. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Interracial Couple Podcast. Wait, it's not all black and white. My name is Sarah. I'm black. I'm Matthew. I'm white, in case you didn't notice. And today we are jumping into hot water with a pretty big question. Yeah. Who is... is watching porn cheating? Yeah. Is watching porn cheating? I don't think it is. You don't think it is? No. What do you think? I don't think it's a yes or no question. Got it. So why do you say no? Um, why do I say no? First of all, I don't have an issue when people watch porn. I think I have an issue with the kind of porn people are watching. I have a lot of issue based on like if it's teen porn and some other unethical things that are done, you know, in like how porn is made. But I think it's like if it's adults doing it, and it's they're consensual. Doing consensual and they're doing it to make money. Um, I think it's fine for the person and the person who's watching is paying for it. I think there is a way to make porn in ways that it's ethical. And yeah. I, I don't have an issue with that. That question is a whole other topic because there is certainly, you know, breaking down of certain taboos. There are, I read this amazing uh, essay by this woman who who porn opened her eyes to things that she didn't know she could enjoy, you know, and kind of growing up in the Midwest in a very sort of conservative household to find that she could really find expression through through sex and that doing things she didn't even know existed, you know, whether it was different role play things or whatever. And it wasn't, it wasn't anything like mean or demeaning or nasty though, you know, and that of course also comes to whether there's consent and, you know, some people like BDSM and that can be really fun. Uh, and both men and women like to be dominated or whatever. And so that's, those can, things can be when it's fully consensual and when it's coming from a healthy place, it's a totally different story than this question of is porn cheating so i'm it, like, curious why do you porn think it's cheating not in a relationship i don't think it is okay. like if i found my partner if i found you watching porn like i wouldn't think it's a big deal like to me it's not a big deal so i would okay you yeah. know like to me it's not even like one of those things would i think like is this a deal breaker like i don't care like watch watch porn and masturbate and like do whatever you want to do like I don't like it just doesn't seem like something that I would worry about you know unless it was like affecting unless it got to that place where it was affecting our relationship um but if I'm like not home or if like you are gone and I'm watching porn like I should be able to like watch whatever I want to watch you know you just started to allude to something that it's not necessarily yes or no because you said unless it starts to impact my relationship correct and, and until it's like it becomes a problem then if it's affecting my relationship if it's done like occasionally you know like i honestly don't care like yeah. to me it's like if you're watching porn you could as well be watching netflix <laughs> well the the outcome is different and i think yeah. this is why people bring it up is that if i'm watching porn I'm also probably masturbating and I'm masturbating, imagining other women in other situations. And I think that's where some people would say that's cheating. I I don't think so, though. Like your imagination can take you wherever it wants to take you. I, I think that's a very valid point. This is where it would be a big deal if my partner was asking me to be to behave like, and and I've had that being an issue Mm. where it's like partners are watching the porn and then being like, I want you to do that, you know? And like 
bringing that into a relationship, then I would have an issue with it, you know? But I don't have an issue if my partner is coming off by imagining another woman when I'm not even there. Right. And I, and I think that that's one thing that you've taught me, which is that my thoughts are not necessarily me and that, you know, an imagination, a fantasy or whatever, those things are fully okay. And we talked about it before, not even in, in this realm. We talked about it as this idea of intrusive thoughts where I don't want to think something and I do anyways. And I used to feel really terrible about that. And then but being able to to get to the point where I've realized, oh, that's like a psychological thing. People have thoughts all the time that that doesn't define you. I think that's really important. But then also kind of moving that over into this question of porn, which is that having a fantasy or imagination is normal. It would be like, if I fantasize about winning the lottery, does that make me a greedy person? No. You know, a couple of years ago, like I used to fantasize about traveling and I would just be sitting and I'd be like, oh my God, like I can see myself in Australia. And when I wanted to move back to Kenya, it's like I would fantasize about moving back home and like how what that was going to look like. It's okay. You know, like, and sometimes like I can close my eyes and like go there. No, what you're going to tell me like I'm not present because I'm not like enjoying where I'm living at the moment. Like it's just a couple of minutes of like, I can fantasize about being in Australia. I can fantasize about living in, in Kenya and back home. Like it's not a big deal. I don't know. Like maybe it should be a big deal. And maybe some women who are watching this is like, girl, like you shouldn't, you need to take this seriously. But I just never felt like if my partner is watching porn like it's it's a huge deal but of course we're also reversed to me it's always been slightly bigger deal it's not to say yeah. i haven't watched porn but i am i don't like to um when i do i feel like i'm a little bit outside of my i'm outside of my comfort zone and generally because i don't like just because i know so much uh, there's so much within the industry and everything that i don't like uh, it can it can be very demeaning, even if you're just like on any porn site and the stuff that pops it's, up it's is funny really because gross I to find me. like it's empowering to women who are doing it, you know, and a little bit like I'll tell you, like part of like my moving back, like I grew up in a tiny place, you know, like everyone knows everyone. And when I moved to LA, I was like, I can be anything, you know, like I can be a doctor. Like I was thinking like I didn't. You know, I I wasn't going back to school. I hadn't decided like what my career was going to be. And one of the thing I was like, was so freeing was like, I could be a doctor. I could be a lawyer. You know, I could be a businesswoman. And also like, I could be a porn star. It's okay. Like for me, it's like if if someone was like, I want to be a porn star, go ahead. Like I know most people who end up doing it have like more issues than like we can cover in this podcast but i think i tend to think like for some women who do it like i don't want to think like every woman who is doing it is disempowered yeah. like i think some women who are doing it are very, like i want to to think or maybe i'm being naive that those women are really empowered and well, sometimes and it, it can, can be empowering watching it mm-hmm. okay i think yeah so i think for me i mean one of the things to me and, and let's go back to kind of the original question which yeah. is it cheating um you have this thing where if if I am less connected to you emotionally or sexually because I'm watching porn, then it begins to become cheating in my mind. Okay, let's ask a different question. If you found me watching porn, would you have an issue with it? Oh, this is such a good question because if I found you watching porn, yeah. I would not have an issue with it. Okay. However, if you found me watching porn, I would be humiliated. It doesn't make sense at all. I'm not saying it makes sense. I'm just being honest about that's what my reaction, I know my reaction would be. If you did, I mean, I might feel a little bit like, what is she watching? And I might come in and I could my, I could probably also make a joke about it or something, or I'd have to kind of like get into it in some ways, just something so I didn't feel like an outsider. Because okay. if you were, let's say you were masturbating and watching porn, I would come in and I'd be like, I'm an outsider. Either I need to become an insider by saying, oh, this is cool. I'm going to watch whatever you're watching. And you know, oh, let me be a just part do of the situation. <laughs> or I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to leave and let you do your thing. I'm going to, you know, I'll come back in 10. Okay. <laughs> um, so like, I don't know exactly how I would react, but I know that there would, there would probably be a little bit of like, or even like, why is she doing that? Like we actually, we have, we have sex frequently. And so I might, 
like even underneath, not consciously, I consciously know that there would be no problem with it. And it's not any referendum on my ability in the sack or the frequency or whatever. But I know that there would probably be something in me that'd be like, hmm, why is she doing that? And I think a lot of women probably come to that too. Like, why am I not enough? Like, mm-hmm. why do I, why does he have to go somewhere else for, for sexual pleasure? Am I not enough? Or you have this other thing, which I've seen a lot uh, in sort of in, in the sort of men's circle and men kind of trying to figure out their own, you know, place in the shifting world that we're in is like, my wife doesn't want sex as much as I do. So therefore I have to go there. Right. But if I tell her that she's not going to be happy about it. So therefore now I have to withhold telling her that I watch porn and I masturbate to porn because there's something within my relationship where I'm not being satisfied. I'm also going to say to that very often, some of that can also be a man not sort of having a certain need, like things need to be like this in order for me to be satisfied, as opposed to saying, I'm going to, like, you have different needs. Maybe I like something a little kinky and you like something a little less kinky, or you like it kinky this way, I like it kinky that way. Like you might just have to come to a place where you really both feel really great and comfortable and work through whatever hangups you have or or any sort of pathologies that might be leading you to saying like, I need to watch something super violent or nasty in order to get off. You might say, okay, well, what do you need to go, what do you need to explore about yourself that that's happening? And not that that's necessarily bad role-playing fantasies. Like there's a place for a fantasy. If you like something really rough, like... I think like that's the difference between like the way I think about watching porn is like I'm actually not probably like thinking about like what they're watching you know like what they're coming like what's getting them off is just like i'm just thinking like it's what they want to do right now so i guess then uh, the other issue around is it cheating to me comes is do you feel comfortable telling your partner or your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or boyfriend that you watch porn and that that you masturbate to porn or that you just are like Bill Clinton with marijuana and you're like, I watch, I just don't masturbate. I smoke marijuana, but I didn't inhale. Um, <laughs> Did he really say that? Bill Clinton said that, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 